Well, hello again, folks, and welcome to my Shell Buzzies House Smart Coffee Break. Well, today, again, serving the community, which I always like to do within our company. I have a lady with me. Her name is Judy Higginbottom. How are you doing, Judy? I'm doing well, Shell. You know, Thank you've, you. Uh, you and I have known one another oh, for a long time. I but... remember when you were a politician. Oh, gosh, don't tell too many people that. But anyway, you know I was well-liked, and I know you were well-liked. And I think it's one of those things that those kind of get-togethers were always a lot of fun. Oh, absolutely. And uh, I'll tell you, when it comes to being part of a community, I always like to be able to say, what can we do in order to help? And uh, you're going to give us a bit of a rundown on one of the uh, fundraising efforts that we do fully support here at the Shelbuzzy House Smart. And... Uh, I'd like you to explain to the people about Sources. Great name. Thank you, Shell. Actually, Sources was Peace Arch Community Services a few years ago. And they, everybody, you know, is trying to update and modernize their organizations, and Sources did too. It's an umbrella organization that has Food Bank, the South Surrey White Rock Food Bank. They have women's shelters for women and families mm -hmm. and seniors. They also have child uh, programs for challenged children. Mm -hmm. they, they work in not just Surrey, but they do work in Langley, actually Prince George, addiction centers, mm -hmm. and they also work in employment centers. They do all of the things that a community really needs and we've got a society a to do. We have a community garden right in our back door. Wow, we open the back wonderful. door of our office here. We can take our hose and water down. We had the most beautiful cherry tomatoes this year. Sources had fresh veggies grown in the backyard right here. Well, you do look healthy and well-fed, Shell. So. Thank you very much. Well-fed for sure, but uh, looking good, I'm not so sure. <laughs> <laughs> but Sources, uh, you know, they've got a big undertaking coming up. We're participating in it. Uh, tell us about that Christmas yes, tree. Yes, and thank you, Shell. Actually, what it is, it's called the Season of Trees, and we want to raise the profile of, uh, of Sources. We also want to raise funds for the children's programs that we have in Sources. Mm -hmm. And what we're doing, we're asking individuals and businesses to sponsor a tree. Ah, yes. And you decorate that tree, mm -hmm. and you bring it, and we will place it then in the lobby of the Sheraton Guilford Hotel. Out on 104th. And we will have it on display. And we're going to have voters and people coming in, and hopefully they will vote on the tree, the best tree that they see. Don't forget us, folks. You know, we're there, but I'm not suggesting, I'm not biased or anything like that, but I do want to say that uh, with potters and ourselves joining hands and putting the tree together, uh, potters' uh, garden centers are absolutely fabulous, and they uh, made the tree available and decorated it. We picked it up and uh, put some other decorations on it and uh, delivered it out to the Sheridan at Guilford. And incidentally, that's Guilford 104 and 152nd Correct. In, Correct. in Surrey. So you can't miss the big hotel there. But tell us what's going to happen to these trees. I mean, outside of people voting well, for Well, they will be on display um, for until December 10th. Mm -hmm. And then we have a reception. Mark Madrega will be the MC show. Great guy. And we are then going to have an auction on many of the trees that are there. Mm -hmm. For example, I decorated an old Canada tree, oh. and Canadian Tire donated the tree for me. So there's a lot of nice. community businesses who are helping us put this together. And then we have another tree called the Shoe Tree, mm -hmm. which is the Diva Tree. Ah. We have um, Stephanie Cadu put a tree in there. Nice. We have Fraser Downs put a tree in there. We have um, the uh, all many many different organizations. Um, Guilford Town Center, mm -hmm. the shopping center, put a tree in. Shell, you put your tree in, which is a beautiful tree. Fast Signs put a tree in. We have many people in the community that really and truly put put money on the table to put a tree in. There. Ours has even got tools on. <laughs> <laughs> so. Well, you know, your tree last year, we uh, auctioned that off, Shell, and then we um, it was bought at mm -hmm. the auction, and we donated it to a needy family in oh, the community, nice. and, and we were very thankful because your tree last year was very special. Your tree this year is different, 
but just as special as just, it was last Oh, year. I'm not finished with it yet. I'm going over there. I've <laughs> still got a little more to put on that tree, but, uh, oh you know, really, it's, it's, it's a... It's a big undertaking. I know when you get auctioneers and uh, having uh, personalities like uh, Mark Madriga out there, and please, Mark, give us some weather on that day like we are today. And I won't say what day it is, but it's beautiful, cold and chilly, but hey, the sun's out. Give us one of those kind of days for the auction. It's always nice. That way you don't have to worry about snowing or raining when you're taking the tree home that you bought. Mind you, you can always leave it there until you, know, you go and until pick it up. But uh, sources, uh, again, uh, this will give me a rundown again on local White Rock, South Surrey, where we're located business-wise. Some of the undertakings, they got the food bank. Yes, they have the food bank, but they have um, Ishtar and Atira, some of the women's shelters here. Mm -hmm. They have a, a senior women's shelter, too, which, uh, incidentally, my rotary helps out with a lot. Nice. We have programs for challenged children, autism, and, and many of the challenges that children have. They do have and have reached out um, into other cities, Prince George, for one, where they have challenges with with a, an addiction center there mm -hmm. and they work with challenge people there we we and you know every sort of phase of what you need in a community sources helps out employment centers too for adults right um they also help in counseling and and they they, they are just so important to a community. They have a budget close to $8 million. Wow. And they have a board of directors of very, very um, fine businessmen in the community. Um, Scotiabank is one of the bigger sponsors. All the bucks go to the one place, sources? All the dollars go into sources, but we are hoping that this will all go into the programs to help children, right. challenge children, right. and children in need. We mustn't overlook one very important association that we're both very much involved in, and that's the Cloverdale Chamber of Commerce. Well, that just so happens you and I directors on there yes. are having our AGM very soon. Yes, yeah. And um, yes, it, it's an organization again that I think many of the people in Cloverdale have put trees in there. Yeah, that, and that, that's just shell, great. Fraser Downs did, Jean Guibo yeah. of the Honey Bee Center did, and, and we're very thankful that they have done that because that's how um, sources, um, you know, lives and helps yep. out in the community is because there's so many people in the community oh, and there's that want to So get many uh, associations now, nonprofit groups that, uh, you know, we um, are very active involved in local fundraising efforts. And every year this seems to gather more and more and more and more associates that require uh, funding for children and we've really looked forward to uh, dealing with those that are involved with children because children really are our life support system and uh, the shelters and the food banks uh, you know we see people come and go because of our doors being open here during the summer months and it's just great what they do over there so folks take it from myself and certainly from uh, Judy that do your part. I know it takes that little bit of dig down in, but even if it means putting the family into the car, going over to the Guilford uh, Sheridan Hotel there at 104th and 152nd in Guilford, right here in sunny Surrey, and take a look at the trees, put your vote in, and uh, December the 10th, if you can make it out to the auction, who knows, you could just be the owner of a tree that's going to bring a lot of help to a great organization. And Judy, you're very much part of it. Thank you so much for coming Thank out. Thank you, Shell. Sources, I know, with your help and support of many others, it's going to go a long way. Yes, I, I'm very thankful. And thank you oh. for being in, involved. Our pleasure. You're one of about 20 trees in the lobby. So uh, no, there you go, I folks. hope you're going to come out and see them over the Christmas season. You bet. So thanks very much. And until our next coffee break, do your best. You know, I can say officially now, Merry Christmas and the very best in 2015. Bye-bye for now. Bye-bye.